Hey guys, what is up? It is a new day and it is a new vlog and we're coming back right at you with another vlog. And today we're doing something very exciting because we are shopping for Star Wars The Black Series figures that you cannot, I'm telling you, you can look, you will not be able to find these in the United States of America. Um, I want to reckon they're in other places in the world, like I want to say maybe Europe has them too, like, you know, maybe the UK or something like that, or Australia. I know for sure Canada has them because um, I've been seeing posts about them, people have been talking about them. Um, so yeah, we're going to be looking for them. Um, it's a pretty boring wave, honestly. I kind of understand why they aren't in the US, because who really wants these? I... I'm going to be looking for them. I don't know if I'll buy them. Like, I kind of want them because, like, oh, this is cool. You can't get this in the U.S. But also, like, these figures do not do me anything other than, like, kind of a cool novelty thing. But anyways, we're going to at least find them and take a look at them. So let's jump into that. Are we straight to the point or what? Uh, yeah, so this is what we came here for. This is a Stormtrooper. Uh, probably the best one of the wave. Pretty nice army builder. And then just behind him is Luke. Probably the worst of the wave, honestly. And then this Mando, too. Dude, it looks so good, dude. It's so nice. Man. And then Vader right behind him. And then probably the most interesting of all is the Bo-Katan. Because, um, you know, she's probably like the newest figure. And then she's an archive pack drink. So it's kind of weird. Probably find the old one pretty cheap. Which is kind of funny. But yeah, that's what we came here for. They're kind of neat. It's actually probably been about a month. I want to say maybe actually probably a little under. It's probably around like Christmas time that I was last here. And really not much has changed, honestly. Um, yeah, this Krennic was here the last time I remember. Because the bubbles cracked, right? Yeah, that's the same one. That's the one I didn't want to buy. Um, they have more of these, which we already saw. Um, oh, where's Bo? Yeah, there she is. I got Bo Katan in the back there. And the only one I might buy is I might buy the Stormtrooper just because, you know, it's a Stormtrooper. You can always army build those. I just kind of want them because it's like, it's cool. They're not in the U.S., which makes them a little bit more elusive. And doesn't look like there's too much hiding in the back here either. This guy's new. I, I think, yeah, this guy came in like the same wave as uh, the new Mandalorian, which is really nice, actually. I really like that Mandalorian. Um, but yeah, nothing too crazy. I did find something crazy down here, though. It's not Star Wars, but dude, check that out, dude. That looks so good. Um, and that I actually kind of want this. Come on, Walmart, please have something good. Oh, it's not looking, it's not looking so good. Yeah, dude, what even happened, bro? What even happened here? What is this? <laughs> um, yeah, this is looking pretty sad. Any good TVC? No. Oh, that's really sad. Okay, the Star Wars section is slightly cleared out. And um, <laughs> looks like it has cleared out just for us to be incredibly disappointed once again by Walmart. Nice. Whoa, dude, check this out. Look at this. Fresh stock. You got Krennic, which we actually already got, which I've actually not seen. Chopper. Check that out. That actually looks really good, actually. I'm really impressed with that. But most importantly of all, look at that. Look at that. Previsla. Man, that looks so good. That looks... Man, he looks sick. Look at that. He looks sick, dude. <laughs> Okay, I need you all to correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty confident the Sense logo comes after the number. I don't know, what do y'all think? Wait, 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 there it is. Oh, look, look, they actually have them. Oh, I don't need any more of these, but I really do want to get some more right now. Okay, and after the whole uh, battle pack stuff, and honestly, just like the whole of 2023, we've got so many clones. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to need more of these pins for my minifigures, so we're going to get a decent handful of them. Okay, dude, we may have picked the wrong day to go toy on it. It is so freaking cold out. I mean, that still ain't going to stop us, but dude, it's so freaking cold out. Anyways, just going to make a quick lunch break now, uh, stopping off one of my favorite pizza places. Absolutely adore this place, so let's hit it up. Okay, and we are back, where the magic happens, of course, and, um, yeah, we got a lot to do right now. It's, like, pretty late, but, uh, still got some stuff that I gotta finish up here, um, especially with these new bins. We got a ton of sorting to do. It's pretty wild. After that, I'm thinking, hopefully, maybe I can catch up on some TV. The new Echo series literally just came out, and, like, I know it's kind of something that just flew under the radar, but I don't know. I'm still got, like, you know, some optimism for it, so I'm kind of hyped for it. I really like Hawkeye. But anyways, on to some sorting here. It's actually something that just kind of came to my attention, because I was just kind of, like, looking through the room. I was like, hey, you know what? I can do this. Um, is Krennic Shuttle, because I've had the set since 2016, and I do usually try to keep my sets pretty dust-free, but... 12 year old me he didn't do a great job at that <laughs> um so it's kind of like collected dust over the years and then like recently i've tried to clean it up but i've never done like a full through job and it's like it just doesn't look great man with all that dust on it it's just like it was just so hard to dust anyway so it's like this thing needs to be fixed um so i'm thinking hot water bath usually that fixes it so we'll see how that turns out 
A few moments later. Um, I'm actually pretty impressed with actually how well Krennic Shuttle came out. Like, I mean, I kind of knew mentally in the back of my mind, this will work, this will fix it, because I've done this like a thousand times before. I know this, this trick works, but like, man, just actually finally seeing it look good again, it's like, nice, I'm happy with it. Um, dude, I mean, it looks sexy now. I mean, it was sexy before, but like, now it's like, you know, you gave it a little spruce, you get, you know, you, you wash it up a bit, and it's like, oh yeah, that's, that's Krennic Shuttle. So I'm happy that thing has a shelf presence again, finally. Okay, yeah, so I made my bed a complete mess. <laughs> it completely messes all up for the sorting. But anyways, the main things I want to address here is the clones. So initially how I had it is the file first went in here, and pretty much everything else went in there. And I'm like, this bin became way too full of stuff, so I'm like, okay, I gotta fix this. So I've given the 330 seconds actually their own bin. I decided, hey, why not throw in some plain phase twos in there as well? And then I was thinking the plain phase ones, I was thinking maybe um, give them their own bin. I still haven't sorted out all of them from here. You know, you can still see see some in there. But these are at least my 2022 ones. Um, I got my droids in here, at least um, like I the new Super Battle droids. I don't really want to mix the old and the new ones because I just like... I just don't want to touch those old ones. They're so prone to breaking, man. And, like, we'll just leave them be. They're in a spot. We'll just leave them be. Um, and then I also got another big bin. Um, I've had this one for a while. And I pretty much just use this for, like, smaller builds. You know, things that, like, I don't really want to keep out on display too much. Because, um, you know, they take up space. So in here, keeps them dust-free. And that also saves me from having to dust them so ever so often. Um, so super sweet. All I have to maybe ever do is just dust the lid of the uh, of the bin which is way easier than dusting each of these sets individually um yeah so i got another one of these kind of going on i don't think i've shown you this actually i built this using parts from the 330 second battle pack because i'm like i already got a ton of those swamp speeders i don't need any more of those i'm like this looks pretty sick so yeah i really like that um so yeah definitely got a lot to fill up in here but i think we're off to a good start so we're probably not doing much story hunting today. Um, we'll probably try to hit it back out tomorrow, but like, as you've probably seen, such maybe even experience yourself if you're lucky. Um, yeah, the weather in the US and Canada has been, it's been awful, dude. Like, I mean, bro, they literally delayed the Bills and Steelers game. So yeah, we'll probably be inside for today, which is fine, honestly. I got stuff that I need to do anyways. Like, mainly the big thing I want to accomplish is finally piece this together, which I'm really excited about. Um, cause apparently we're going to be getting a Cal Kestis minifigure. Um, I think I want to reckon like in August or something, sometime this year. So yeah, really hyped about that. And um, I probably should take down the Christmas stuff. I mean, bro, this guy's still chilling out. Like, what are you doing, man? It's January. <laughs> like, bro, this is literally my backyard right now. Like, what, what even is going on here? <laughs> So the weather has finally decided to stop, so we are back out, uh, what you guys came here for, and that is toy hunting. To be frank though, I kind of found everything that I've wanted, like, we've, we kind of hit it off, all of that first game stuff, we found that archive wave, and that was pretty sweet, but now it's just, I don't know, kind of just pretty chill, just kind of seeing what we can find, so hey, let's get into it. Oh my gosh, look how dusty this Eternals box is. <gasps> when did this movie come out again? Was it 2021? Yeah, I know these sets are retired. Oh my gosh, that's so dusty. Also, dude, they cannot get rid of these Wonder Woman, or I guess this Wonder Woman set for the life of them. What the heck? Bro, it's literally like the middle of the month now. Ain't no way they don't even have, they don't even have any 2024 sets. I mean, like, what, what, is, what is Walmart even doing? What are they even doing? Okay, there's like far too many people in the Black Series aisle to film. It's not even just like there's one dude there. There's like there's like an entire family. So we'll let them we'll let them do their thing. But um, one thing I actually did notice is I I've not actually seen this because when I went to the Lego store, they uh they didn't actually have any of these uh left. So uh, this is actually my first time seeing this, and honestly, it's it's kind of mid. If I got I know a lot of people really want this set, but I think a lot of people just kind of want this set because of its ties to the Statue of Liberty set. It's kind of mid, honestly. I don't know. It's okay, but I don't know. I think you're kind of just getting it for that lizard there. Yeah, I too love Lunar New Year. I also celebrate it with new Clone Trooper Battle Packs. I think I remember why I don't normally come here to hunt at Costco. Mainly because they rarely ever get new things, and also it's absolutely chaos here. However, I did find this really cool desk though. So what up? I don't normally got Costco going on the vlogs because usually there's nothing really crazy. Um, but I had to pick up some stuff here. So I figured, hey, why not make this our final destination? And yeah, this is why I usually, I don't know. I always see Costco in the US is absolutely wild. And here in Canada, it's just kind of, kind of whatever, honestly. Like this is the only Star Wars thing they got. I know a few years ago, they actually did have the file first battle pack. 
I want to say, uh, I'll throw the image up here. I want to say it's like, it was like 30 bucks or something off the top of my head. It was a wicked deal. And man, I, I never saw it. And I, I'm so sad about that to this day. If they ever get the clone trooper battle packs in here for like that same price or like last, I'm going to buy so many of those. I don't even care. And we are back. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys had as much fun as this as I did. Um, but yeah, at this point, I honestly just want to emote on some kids in Fortnite. So I'm going to go do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.